Okay guys, I'm working on a 2016 Ford F-150 with a 5.0 Coyote motor. Um, customer came in with some intake manifold runners stuck open or stuck closed, whatever the switch position was for that side. This particular side, it was the driver side, which is bank two. And what ended up happening is when you come back here and look, you see your switch solenoids, your vacuum solenoids that actuate your different runners here. And your runner position changes here based on this little lever action and this is the sensor that reads it well back behind the sensor there's an actual rod in there and that little rod that goes into the back of that sensor actually snaps I'll take you back and show you the old one so when you pull the sensor off you're going to actually probably pull the rod with it I'll show you the back of this manifold see that that rod right there should have a sensor in it just like or uh that should have a little prong sticking out like that so as that sensor sits in there it can sense the position that it's in this here turns and varies your voltage the computer's feeding back and that's how it knows what position it's in here's the little piece that snapped off of it and when you when you pull your sensor off it's going to sit something like yay when you go to pull your sensor off thinking something's wrong with your sensor because that's the code you're going to get it's going to be a switch sensor position you're going to pull it off and you're going to look and you're going to be like oh darn it that piece is broke off inside there it can happen on either bank it's a very common problem so if you're trying to ohm things out and you're trying to figure out what's wrong with wires and can't figure pull your pull your actual sensor off and take a take a peek at that that little rod that goes through that that butterfly assembly right there it cannot be replaced it all comes as one unit so this manifold comes with your vacuum actuator or your vacuum solenoids or actuators it comes with your map sensor and stuff it comes with both position sensors and the associated gaskets and the front um, throttle body gasket as well so you don't have to order any of that stuff that comes with it the only th the only thing that you'll have to order is a set of o-rings that go along your side so you can swap over your injector rail some people will do top and bottom some people will just do bottom just be careful when you pull it off so you don't warp the rail but anyway putting it all back together should be a piece of cake and it takes a couple hours to do the job, no big deal. Okay guys, if I, I'm, I will update some of the information in the description box below whenever this video uploads.